Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? Listen, I'm trying to find out if y'all watched the Snyder Cut, okay? Y'all watching the Snyder Cut? Listen, it took me three different viewings to get through it. And admittedly, I probably would've got it done in two, but I was watching it with my kids and we were enjoying it together as a family. So, you know, we had to split it up or whatever, but let's talk about the Snyder Cut. All right, I know y'all know the whole thing around it, how he was removed as the director because he had a personal tragedy. And you know, we finally got to see his vision for this movie. When I first saw Justice League, um, the first theatrical release, I was unimpressed. I'm not really overly impressed with DC anyway. Let's just be honest. I'm gonna call it spade a spade. I am not team DC, although I do love a good movie. Okay, if you if you can give me quality, I'm gonna watch it. Okay, so uh, I wasn't really impressed with that first one, honestly. But then the Snyder Cut, I have to tell y'all, it's good. It's long. It's long, y'all, okay? But it's good. It's good. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna try to be as, as succinct as I can, all right? So the Snyder Cut is better because it fully develops characters that we had not seen before in any other DCEU movies. Cyborg. We got a whole backstory for him. I was wanting that. When I saw him in the original movie, I'm like, you just gonna throw him in here? We don't know anything about him really from a movie standpoint. Of course, if you're a comic book person, cartoon person, you've seen him before. But I just was longing for that. I felt like why do we not already have a connection with these characters before you throw them all together and supposed to be happy? Like, even with Aquaman, um, I, I felt like he was having fun with the role, but I didn't really know anything about Atlantis. I didn't really understand. I, I just, him and the girl, Mira, I was like, I guess they have some sort of relationship. I don't know. Anyway, so I love that the Snyder Cut gave us a fully developed storyline. That's what makes it better. Now, Here's the issue. You're watching it now after already seeing the other movies that have come after it. So in a way, whatever you might have felt was missing before, you don't feel that way now because you've already had a couple movies since then that you already know some more information about. So it's hard to really judge, does this do enough? Does it, does it give me enough? Um, and also I feel like if they would have taken the time to do the smart thing, which was develop these characters in their individual movies first. Why are we just now about to get a Flash movie? Okay, we should have already had a Flash movie before. So I feel like if they had taken the time to do those individual movies before, this Justice League would have had so much more weight to it. But that's why it's so long. Because there's like many movies telling the backstories of several characters and you're still telling this story about how they all come together. And have them have to fight somebody. There's so many extra people in here now. There's so many more villains in here now. We got like epilogues with extra scenes. I mean, nightmares is what they're calling them with a K. Um, I, I didn't know about that. That's a new thing for me. I'm like, what's a nightmare? Because when Batman has a dream or something. I don't know. I had to look more into it because you know I'm not DC. But I have to I had to say it. All right. This Snyder Cut is good. It's good. Okay, the action is good. The storytelling is better. It's it's just long. <laughs> and it just is long because we didn't get those other movies ahead of time. So listen, I know you're like, do I have to, Kim? Yes. Yes. Y'all watching this? Okay. Watch this movie. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. This is a good one, albeit a long one. All right, listen, I'll catch you guys the next time. Bye.